create base plate. Go to application and component. Type here base. Now you will get it base plate related some component you will get it. In that most commonly we will use US base plate. Just click this one. Click the column. Click this end point. It will create like this. Right click interrupt. Select this one. Double click this one. You will get it this properties in dialog. You can change this one how you require. Now go to the part first. Make it the base plate thickness 30. If you go to the PDF, you can see the connection. Here it is base plate connection section AA. You can see the connection. Here it is 1400. Here it is 1000. And other all the area we need to fix it M20. This is the stiffener and all 20. And here it is base plate thickness 30. So now go to the thickness structure. Make it 30 this one. And the size is 1000. And here it is height is 1400 1400 then stiffener stiffener make it 20 thickness and here also make it 20 thickness just keep as it is we need to make other all the things also just make it just make it here p p here it is for prefix number and start number and here it is material which material you want you can select or depends on your project name you can make it name normal plate also or you can make it base plate stiffener plate like that also you can make then simply modify key positives stiffener we will do just go to the stiffener make it here one give you space two give you space three give you space four give you space like that you have to make it like that then if you modify you can see all the stiffness if you don't want any stiffener if you remove this number you cannot see the stiffener now you can see 8 stiffener, this is the 8 stiffener, 8 stiffener will come this side, just control R, you can click this location if you rotate, you can see this side stiffener you cannot see, but this side we have stiffener, if I go to remove this 7 and if I modify, you can see this stiffener is removed, so like that if you don't want any stiffener, you can remove the number, now here it is like this, now just go to Part. We need to decide the height. I just make it here this one height 300. Then this one height is 300. Both the stiffener. Then if you modify you will get it like this. Then you can see I just need to fix exactly with this base. If you want you can give a gap also or you can make it up to end. I just make it here up to end. For that if you measure the distance from this flange to here you will get it the gap make it 301.5 for this stiffness if you go to that you can see here 1 2 where is this is the 1 2 4 5 1 2 4 5 means this one if you measure the distance if you here you will get it this one next one 6 3 6 7 8 3 6 7 8 means this is 3 and here it is 6 and here it is 7 and 8. That all the stiffener you will get it depends on this dimension. So if you measure this dimension, you will get it 277.5. Then if you modify, you can see it will fit at exactly with this base plate. So now keep as it is. Go to the picture. I just change here 200. Then I change here 250. Similar way I just update here also make it 250 then here it is 200 and here i just make it for welding 20 20 gap for chamfer then if you modify you can see the changes now if you need this grout hole if you require you can make the grout hole also definitely require grout hole i just make it a 25 dia or 50 dia depends on your project requirement you can make that one then here it is coming something center. I just make it this one little bit. Make it 50. And if you go to, all right, just click outside. Interrupt. Double click outside. Then go to the display and hold. I just make it here exact. Select these two things. Now modify and click OK. Right click. 
we draw then if you go to this side select this one still it is not showing clearly so we just need to adjust this side also i just make it here 50 and if you modify select this one and modify now you can see any one side you, you get it So now you can see it is placed perfectly this side. So if you want, you can adjust that one little bit also. I just make it here 100. And here also I just make it here 100. Then if you need more size, bigger size hole if you require, that also possible. Just right click and redraw here you can see. If you want more bigger size, you can make that one also. Depends on your project standard. Or you can select, just make it a little bit big also. 50, that is more good. So you can make that one depends on your project standard. So other, other other things we will decide now. Go to bolt. What is a bolt standard? You can select the bolt standard and select this one. What is the size of bolt? I just make it here 36. Next, we need to decide what is a bolt distance and all. This side we need it four bolt. If you go to that. PDF you can see here this side we need it 4 bolt that 4 bolt we need to place it like this just go to the Tecla structure 4 bolt I just make it here 1 is 200 next one is 400 next one is 200 then if you select this one and modify it will place like this next next side if you go to the PDF you can see this is the next side here it is 2 bolt between distance 1200 now just go to the tecla structure make it 2 bolt and here it is 1200 then if you select this one and if you modify you can see this hole is placed perfectly so now other all the thing keep it as it is we don't want to make any other changes here if you want you can make changes just go to the anchor you can make the anchor also just go here you can make the anchor bolt which profile you want you can make the profile also i just make it here 36 rod then modify now you cannot see anything i just go here you can make grout also here you can select anchor rod then if you modify you will get it a rod like this which type you want you can select the type i select this one or if you need any other type you can select here also now i select this one and if i modify and here it is you will get it like this then if you need grout you can select that one above or below grout i just make it here below make it 25 then if I modify you will get it grout like this you can see the grout now you can see here you, you can make the grout material and also and here it is you can make it prefix number I just make it gt grout then I just make it here the prefix and if you go here you can make concrete you will get it grout material also type here here it is grout select this one and click ok then you can make the name also grout then this is the anchor rod just make it anchor rod AR then I just make it like this and which material you want you can select as per your standard and here it is rod and other all the thing keep as it is then simply modify here it is then if you need other all you can see here if you need to create bolt other all the things you can select this one if you need to create you can make it yes if you select here yes two nut it will create with two nut then just make it all the things yes if you need to create if you don't want you can make it no then here also if you need to make it anchor rod assembly if you need to assemble you can make like this you can select all the things or if you don't want you can make it no so you will get it all the things you can see how it is coming all the things you can see now if you modify here it is you will get it like this then you can adjust this you can see here bolt above the distance you can adjust I just adjust here 100 then if I modify you can see the changes so like that you can adjust all the things and here it is coming like this then if you need to change any other things you can change here if you want now this connection is perfectly finished if you need any other changes you can 
are just here using these connections. Now just modify, apply and click OK. Now go to the edit component, create current connection, select this column and click this location exactly. Then select this column, click this location exactly, here it is placed. So now this connection is perfectly finished. So this is the way you can create base plate for column in Tecla structure. Thank you so much.